Kamusta mga ka-financial fitness? Ako again si David Angway, isang registered financial planner and a licensed financial advisor. Nahandang tumulong sa inyo, especially in terms of money management. Today, we do have a very interesting topic. Pag-uusapan natin ang issue ng gambling at bakit di ko ini-encourage ang mga clients ko about this. Of course, kung nagagambling ka, this topic is for you. If you would like to do some gambling, then this topic is also for you. Pero, kung meron kang mga friends and family members na also into gambling, I hope whatever you get from this topic, ma-share mo sa kanila. Alright, so if you're ready, then watch this full episode and I hope may kapupulutan kayo ng aral. Meron akong nilista na 12 na issue bakit di ka dapat mag-gambling para magtagumpay ka sa finances mo. Alam ko, maraming mahihirap na umaasa rito. Pero madalas, ganito naman yung naririnig ko. You know what, Dave? Wala namang mawawala if magagambling ako. Wait, let me remind you about that belief system. It can definitely kill and destroy tons of opportunities. Ngayon, mga kaibigan, before mo isipin na kailangan mo mag-gambling, tandaan mo itong labing dalawang issue na ito. And I hope this can change your life and also your finances. Number one reason kung bakit hindi kita ini-encourage na mag-gambling is unang-una sa lahat, high risk of financial loss. Ika nga, gambling is inherently risky. Anong ibig sabihin ng risky? Delikado. And the odds are typically stacked against the player. The likelihood of losing money is high, making it a risky investment and a potential drain on your finances. Remember sa 1 Timothy 6 verse 10, sinasabi, For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. So, tandaan mo na bakit nga ba ang mga tao nagagamping? Well, number one, na-compromise yung kanilang finances because of previous behavior. Pangalawa, na-compromise yung finances nila dahil hindi nila na-forecast kung ano yung mangyayari. Today, that's the main reason why napipilitan sila na kumapit sa patalim. The reason why maraming tao nagagamit because they think this is the best option for them para yumaman. Pero bigyan ko kayo ng isang story na totoong nangyari. Meron tayong pakilala ng kanyang trabaho sa Japan. At nakapag-create siya ng enough money which is multi-million. Ang problema, syempre, some people, especially those people who have money, okay, kapag multimillionaire na ako, yung mayabang, tumataas yung ego, and syempre, pumupunta yung pera sa utak, which is anong nangyayari at the end of the day. Syempre, nagiging mapuso. So, ang ginawa niya, ang ginawa niya is very simple. Nagpunta siya ng, sa isang casino, and after four hours, yung trinabaho niya sa ibang bansa for about two years, naubos niya in four hours. So, imagine mo yun. In four hours, nalustay mo lahat ng pinaghirapan mo sa ibang bansa. Dahil, unang-una sa lahat, nag-gambling ka because you would like to earn more. And, if you would like to earn more, and you, you think gambling is really not risky, then tingnan mo yung nangyari sa kakilala ko. It's not easy na malulung sa ganong bisyo. At kapag meron kang ganitong bisyo, naku, para kang nasa kumunoy. Di ba? Paikot-ikot, same storyline, and very detrimental yung mangyayari sa finances mo. So, ang tanong ko, gusto mo ba nun? Ikaw, let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Pangalawa, natutunan natin earlier yung sa kakilala ko na meron itong very addictive nature. Sabi nga nila, gambling can be highly addictive, leading individuals to continuously chase losses in the hope of winning big. 
let me repeat, maraming mga tao kapag natalo, alam nila makakabawi sila. Ang problema, mas maraming talo kesa sa panalo. So ang ending, mas maraming nalustay due to probability rather than winning through probability. Alam mo ang gambling, meron yan tinatawag na algorithm. Ang gambling, meron yan tinatawag na program. And most of the time, you were designed to have what? Short amount of money at the end of the day. Anong ibig sabihin nito? It was absolutely designed para manalo ka a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, and then matalo, talo, 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 talo. So, same thing goes with sabong, same thing goes with madjong, same thing goes with tons of things. Because, alam ko, mayroong tinatawag na pang professional gambler. Pero hindi ka naman professional at the end of the day. Isa ka lang casual gambler. So, ang ending, you were designed para matalo most of the time. Kaya, wag mong iaasa ang pagyaman sa pagkagamit. Yes, I understand. Mayroong mga lotto winners. Nanalo ng 7 million, nanalo ng 51 million, nanalo ng 100 million. Pero again, ready ka ba para tanggapin yun? Pangalawa, kaya mo ba na i-manage yung emotion mo after you get that amount? Kasi hindi parati gambling ang sagot sa pagyaman. Minsan, slow, steady process that can lead you to build your character at the same time, build your wealth along the way. Kasi may strengthen mo yung foundation. Easy money, easy go. ba? Diba? So, this addiction can result in substantial financial consequences as individuals may prioritize gambling over essential expenses. Meron tayong mga kakilala. Imagine mo, para lang makapag-gambling, nagnanakaw na sa mga kapamilya. At dahil very addictive yung mismong anticipation na baka manalo sila, baka manalo sila, ang ending, natatalo sila sa ibang bagay, which is more essential. Let me remind you a story about a certain woman directly sa US. Ito na ang pinakamalupit dito. It was actually mentioned in the book by Charles Duhigg. Nung nabasa ko yun, it was actually mind-blowing. Alam niyo kung bakit? Because yung mismong babae, nagagambling siya directly sa casino sa Las Vegas. To the point na nawalan siya na ng pera, she massively lost her house, nahatak din yung kotse niya. Ito pa. Dahil gusto niyang makabawi, she filed a lawsuit against that casino for exploiting her weaknesses daw. At ibang klase, no? Dahil natalo na siya, she will go directly to the court and file a lawsuit dun sa mismong casino management. Dahil, alam na nga malapit na siyang matalo, hindi pa raw siya binalaan. Imagine mo yung ganong tipo ng gambling mindset. So, ang ending, natalo siya because of that. So, if you're gonna be looking at personal accountability and responsibility, gambling can be addictive, but gambling is also gonna be a way for you to lose more money. My clients and I, we're actually talking about gambling. I'm already telling them these things. Kapag na-addict ka dyan, ready ka bang mawala ng pamilya? Ready ka bang mawala ng pera? Ready ka bang mawala ng sasakyan kapag na-addict ka dyan? And they said, majority of them said no. They are not willing to do that. And that's the main reason why there's this turnaround na nangyayari. Okay, so, nakaka-relate ka ba? So, if you nakaka-relate ka, please make sure to think about these things. Pray about your current situation. And I hope you'll end up being in a better position this year. Now, ito na yung pangatlo. Gambling has these unpredictable outcomes. Unlike traditional investments like stock market, mutual funds, and even real estate or financial planning, the outcomes of gambling are unpredictable and often rely on chance. This lack of control can lead to significant financial instability and stress. Remember this, ah. 
itong portion na gambling na tinatawag natin, regardless kung anong position mo in terms of money, whether mayaman ka man or mahirap ka man, gambling is actually designed by chance or probability. Alam mo, there was a study out there na kung tataya ka ng 51, lot of 51 draw, sinasabi na you have a chance of 1 out of 24 million. Imagine mo, 1 out of 24 million. If you go directly to a business and you understand how the business would really work, then at least 50-50 ka na. Na meron kang probability and chance to grow your business for the next 5 years. Imagine that. Okay? Imaginein mo maraming mga millionaire hindi na nagiging millionaire because yung gambling habits nila is killing their finances along the way. Eh dahil hindi ka naman professional. Casual gambling ka lang. Casual gambler ka lang. Anong nangyayari sa iyo? You'll end up looking more miserable than ever. Sabi nga nila, if you don't want to be a millionaire anymore, then go into a gambling casino. Soon, you'll realize na mas matatalo ka, mas maraming matatalong pera kesa sa mananalo. Let me share with you a story nung nagpunta ako sa isang casino rito somewhere in Paranaque, in Metro Manila, of course. Alam mo, yung mga nagkakasino, alam mo, inaantok na sila pero binibigyan pa sila ng kape, juice, soda para lang makapag-gambling. What a way to do that, right? Bakit nila ginagawa yun? Kasi unang-uno si lahat, they want to keep getting more money coming from you. Even in sabong, even in loto, many people will go ahead and simply market these things as your way to grow your wealth. Pero that's not really true. That's not really true. The more na hindi mo kontrolado ang mga bagay-bagay, ibig sabihin, risky na yan. And the more na you give more funds directly through your habit, even though there's no specific way para kumita ka dyan, that's already gambling. So, let's go directly with the number four. I hope you're still doing fine right now. And I hope na you're, you're able to... I hope na nakakasabay ka pa so far. Ito ang number four. Lack of financial planning. Engaging in gambling activities may divert attention from responsible financial planning. Individuals may neglect saving, budgeting, and investing in favor of the immediate thrill of gambling, jeopardizing long-term financial stability. Ito. Another story. Meron tayong mga kakilala. Alam mong ginawa. Dahil gustong-gustong nakikipag-gambling, Online. Okay? Online na nga lang nga, sa may phone. Hindi na nabibigyan ng karampatang sustento yung anak. Even yung asawa. Second, hindi na rin nakakapagtrabaho ng maayos. Dahil ang ending, parating iniisip, what time ba ako magagamit? What time ba ako magagamit? So, hindi na nakakapag-save kasi parang sa kanya, ang pagsasave, it's the subverted. Boring. Pero hinahanap niya kasi all the time yung thrill ng gambling. Meron tayong kakilala. And parati ko na itong nasasabihan. Dahil parating humihingi na ng tulong, pero hindi naman willing magbago at the end of the day. Again, gambling is not an overnight thing. Ibig sabihin, possible na malulungkad dito for about a year and then definitely hindi ka magbago for the next 10 years. Imaginein mo yung mga loss opportunity for you. Recently, merong isang programa kung kailan naimbitahan ako at tinatanong ako about sa mismong subject nila. Na itong guy daw na ito, for the last five years, nanalo daw ng at least half a million, 500,000 in the last five years. So, ibig sabihin, 100,000 ang napanalunan ito sa raffle at nag-resign na raw ito. Pero imaginein mo, sa hirap ng buhay ngayon, at least kumikita ka dapat ng 18 to 24,000. 24,000 times 10. Let's say for example, at least 240 or dapat yung mismong yearly income mo umaabot ng 300k para magkaroon ng magandang pagkakataon ka 
especially in terms of building your financial stability. Ang problema, nag-rely na lang itong taong ito directly sa mga raffle crew. Ang problema, hindi mo naman alam kung ikaw ay mananalo or matatalo or most of the time, matatalo ka talaga. That's the main problem. Walang predictable outcome. Puro thrill. So, ang ending, you're gonna be losing more than ever before. So, tandaan mo yan. Next natin is negative impact on credit scores. Sa ating mga Pilipino, parang walang kwenta yung credit score. Parang nasa US lang daw yan. Honestly, hindi. Maling-mali yung thinking na yan. Dahil, when you lose sa paggagambling mo, you can lead to death. It can lead to death. Adversely affecting credit scores. Accumulating debt due to gambling may result in financial challenges such as higher interest rates, limited access to credit, and difficulties securing loans. Bigyan ko kayo ng another idea. Especially, ang mga casino or ang mga loto, very uh, sophisticated na yung mga mismong way nila para kumuha ng pera sa'yo. And if you go directly into a certain casino at medyo addicted ka na sa thrill all the time, they may ask for your credit card or for your debit card para ma-i-charge directly dun sa panalo mo or talo mo. E sooner or later, kapag ikaw nag-gambling ka and na-zero yung bank account mo, they will be asking you, Sir, meron ka pa bang credit card? We can actually charge it here. So ngayon, dahil hindi ka papayag na matalo, anong gagawin mo? Anong gagawin mo? Di ba, i-charge mo sa credit card mo. To the point na natalo ka ulit, so ang ending is what? Ang ending is what? You'll end up being miserable because na-zero ka na sa debit card mo, na-zero ka pa sa credit card mo, baka mamaya mahatak pa yung mismong sasakyan mo at bahay mo at may isan na mo pa yung iba, ibang ari-arian mo. And that's the main reason why gambling is very tricky for you. Gambling is very risky. So you don't want to be addicted to it. Kasi kapag ikaw nag-loan ka at you cannot create more money than usual, then sad to say, sorry na lang. This is the main reason why Sinasabi ko ito sa inyo para hindi kayo masunog sa ganitong mga habits ninyo. Merong tinatawag na mga junkets at merong mga taong mag a sa iyo. Sir, mag-invest ka na dito. Sir, mag-invest ka na sa crypto. Sir, kapag hindi mo naintindihan yung mga bagay na yan, even mutual funds or stocks or even a certain insurance, kapag hindi mo yan naintindihan, let me tell you something. You're also gambling. Kaya, whatever you do with your finances, before mo ibigay yan, make sure you understand the repercussion or risk behind it. I hope you're still okay. So, next tayo. Oh, we go directly with the relationships. Strain on relationships is actually the result of the financial problems arising from gambling. And the stress of financial instability deceit related to gambling losses, and potential disputes over money can lead to the breakdown of family and social bonds. Maraming nasisira dahil sa pera. Kahit madyong yan, tongkits man yan, even simple na sabong yan, kapag hindi ka kaagad umalis sa ganyang habits mo sa paggagamping, you'll end up losing more funds. Not only funds, Kasi yan yung napag-usapan natin earlier. Pero you can also lose friends, family members, anak mo, asawa mo, baka parents mo. You may lose them. Why? Because meron tayong mga kilala na tututo na silang magnakaw. Dahil addicted nga sila sa thrill. Pero ang ending natin, dito sa sitwasyon natin na ito, is... Willing ka ba mawala sila just to finance your habits at the end of the day? Losing, losing a friend is not really worth it. Losing a family member is not worth it, especially sa gambling. Pinagpalit mo yung gambling, addiction mo, sa friends mo. That's a really poor decision. 
and I hope you're not gonna be experiencing that one right now. Next naman natin is yung tinatawag na opportunity cost. Money spent on gambling could be invested in more productive and financially beneficial activities. The opportunity cost of choosing gambling, over saving, or investing can have a long-lasting impact on one's financial gain. Let's talk about trauma. If ikaw, for example, nag-gambling ka at nasunog ka, anong mangyayari? Whenever there are certain individual out there who's gonna be asking you, hey, let's go ahead and simply have a financial plan, let's have um, an investments, eh dahil nasunog ka na, natroma ka na. Kung natroma ka na, and you cannot actually move on ASAP with that kind of situation, how can you get back on track? Kasi nga, nasunog ka na. Trauma mo na yan. Pero paano mo i-change yung pag-iisip mo na ganyan? That's why having a community is really good. Para mahata ka dun sa kumunoy na kung nasaan ka right now. Diba? That's why having friends is very important. Problem natin sa mahilig magsugal, you need to lose tons of money before you gain. And that's for real. And sometimes, we lose tons of friends before we realize something. Kailangan pa ba natin yun? Kaya nga, dito sa financial fitness, I highly encourage you to understand exactly kung saan yung mga trigger points mo. Kapag ikaw ba ay nabuboring, gusto mo ka agad magpunta ng kasino, magsabong, magmadyong, magloto, or whatsoever. Diba? That's why you need to think ahead of time. Diba? And think about your family members. Gusto ba nila na nagagambling ka? Or gusto mo na sila nagagambling din in the future? Remember, there's this domino effect that may happen. Next natin, emotional impact. The highs and lows associated with gambling can take an emotional toll. Financial losses can lead to anxiety, depression, and stress, which may further impact overall well-being and hinder one's ability to make sound financial decisions. Honestly, nakaka-depress ito. And do you still remember dun sa una kong kwento about the person who worked directly abroad and then she lost at least 4 million, 4 million, pati yung car niya, directly sa casino. Alam mong ginawa niya? It was like, naglakad siya ng 54 kilometers para lang makauwi. And doon, nakapagparealize sa kanya na ang dami niya palang palukuhan. Yung belief system niya sa pera is really detrimental to her job, work, and even to her family members. And alam mo, ang sabi niya sa family niya, Mapa, so pwede ba akong makahiram ng 20,000? Balik lang ako ng abroad, and I will do my best not to repeat the same mistakes. Bam! Sobrang nakaka-depression, right? And you need to understand na if you are financially secured, you have less anxiety. You can sleep every single night, and nalilesen yung stress mo overall, sa puso, di ba? Mahirap! Mahirap na may utang. Mahirap din na mawala ng pera. That's why I highly recommend you to understand kung saan ka natitrigger right now. We go directly with the next. There are certain legal consequences, especially when you're doing some gambling. And kung hindi na pipitsugin yung mga tayamu, you may end up having this more issues, more stress. Engaging in certain forms of gambling may involve legal risk, legal troubles, fines, and other consequences can result in additional financial burden, exacerbating the negative impact on financial health. Kapag nahatakan sa sakyan mo, nasan na yung bahay mo, anong gagawin mo? Kapag ayaw mong ibigay yung mga properties and business na isan na mo dahil natalo ka sa gambling, what will happen to you? Hindi lang problema, legally yan. Baka mamaya, may mga goons pa na mangharas sa'yo sa pamilya mo dahil hindi mo maibigay yung pera na supposedly na natalo mo sa kanila immediately. Grabe yung stress na yun. And burden at the end of the day. Kaya before ka sumuong dyan, 
as much as possible, you go ahead and simply pray. If you think na this one will not create tons of ROI for you, then never even step inside any arena or casino or any location where in there's this gambling. Kasi delikado yan all the time. Next natin is influence on spending habits. Regular gambling may alter an individual's perception of money and risk, leading to impulsive and risky spending habits. This lack of financial discipline can contribute to ongoing financial challenges. Kung ang mismo financial trauma mo, when you were still a kid, napoproject mo directly towards gambling because gusto mo ng thrill, that can create massive losses for you. And also, you may no longer think about saving more money. Kasi saving is boring. Investing is boring. But for you to have a gambling ASAP, tako! Yari ka! Yari rin ang pitaka mo. Yari ang bulsa mo. Yari ang bank account mo. Credit card mo. Yari din ang family mo. Willing ka bang mawala lahat ng yun para lang masustain to yung pagkagamping mo? I don't believe na gusto mo yun. Kaya, think about that. Think about it. Maraming mga gamblers, they think na they are in control. Some individuals may falsely believe they can control or influence the outcome of gambling activity. Meron pa silang mga pamahiin. Kapag ginawa ko to, mananalo ko. Kapag uminom ako ng tubig, gaga, mangyayari to sa akin. Kalukuhan yun. This illusion of control can lead to increased risk-taking behavior and further financial losses. This is what you call irrational behavior. That's why ini encourage ko kayong mga ka-financial fitness. Yung mindset mo is parang software yan. Ang software na yan, kapag hindi mo ina-update, kumbaga kung naka-Android ka or iOS ka, software yan. Kung hindi mo ina-update yan, possible na magkaroon ng bug yan. Yung bug can actually ruin your phone itself. Same thing goes with your brain. If you think and you believe na mananalo ka kapag ginawa mo to, kapag nagdasal ka, that's not really true. That's part of your irrational behavior. Kaya sinasabi ko sa mga client ko, are you willing to take all those risks? Just to simply earn a small amount. Yung pala, ang gusto lang lang nila, thrill. Eh kung gusto mo ng thrill, bakit mo kailangan mag Pumunta ka sa ibang bagay na pwedeng magkaroon ng thrill, like sports. Pero you don't go directly with the sports betting because you're gonna be losing majority of the time because this is all probability. Kaya again, again and again and again, ano ba ang pinakamahalaga sa'yo? Do you love money more than anything else? Because sabi nga, kanina sa Bible, 1 Timothy 6.10, the love of money is the root of all evil. Next, impact on employment. Excessive gambling can lead to distractions absenteeism and a decline in work performance, potentially jeopardizing employment and consequently, financial stability. Meron tayong mga kakilala dahil konti nga lang ngayong kinikita nila, nag-gambling pa sila. So, ang ending natalo sila. Hindi sila makapasok dahil ni pamasahin nila. Hindi nila afford. You see? Masakit. And nakakaya. Ito lang yung mga possible solutions for me. And I understand how important is money for you and how important your family is to you and how important your family right now na nakakapag-provide ka. Majority lalaki ang nag-gambling. But even girls, they're also gambling. If you're having some situation today na nahihirapan ka, these are the recommendations ko sa'yo. Look for a community na hahatakin ka pataas at huwag pababa. Second, changing your mindset will not happen overnight. So, give yourself some time, a deadline, an urgent deadline para makapag-step up ka at makapag-change ka ng appropriately. Next is, you ask help from other people. And lastly, you pray about your situation. Kaya ako, di ako papasok sa gambling kasi alam ko na yung negative effects ng sa akin or else masisira yung finances ko. Gusto mo ba nun? Maraming salamat sa pagtutok, mga ka-financial fitness. Alam ko, kaya natin to. With the right mindset in practical tools, magagawa mong kontrolin ang iyong pera at makamit ang iyong mga pangarap.
Tara, like and subscribe para sa mga maraming tips at para maging part ng ating financial journey community. Share mo rin sa mga friends mo na kailangan din ng financial guidance. Hanggang sa susunod na episode, ako again si David Anway, ang inyong trusted financial advisor. Nahandang ko muna sa inyo to reach your financial goals. Abangan ang susunod na video.